Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from Flower Box Bakery and I'm bringing you another cross tutorial. Now, I just did this cross for Easter with a beautiful airbrushed background. You can check that one out from a few weeks ago. But today we're focusing on this fancy cross for a baptism or a baby dedication or even a first Holy Communion. So let's take a look. I'm gonna show you three different ways to decorate this design. I'm going to start the cookie by outlining the outside edge. I'm using a number two PME tip to pipe this outline. Now I'm using my tipless bag with flood icing and I'm gonna generously flood in the entire cookie. Notice I really don't leave any cookie showing because I like a nice full look to my icing. Now it's time for some delicate details. I've sized down to tip number one on my gold icing, and I'm gonna use the edge of the cookie as a guide as I pipe a line and then add some scallop details to create a fancy look. The shape of this cutter is so beautiful. Just by using the shape as a guide for your lines, you can create this beautiful cross cookie. And if you like these icing colors, check out the blog post. I have a color guide for all of these cookies. Now that we have this decorative edge on the cookie, we're ready to add some flowers. These are the drop flowers created with tip number 129. Then I'll wiggle in my green icing. I have everything really beautiful and pastel. And on my green icing bag, I have a tip 65S to create those mini leaves. Let me show you a second way to decorate this fancy cross. To set off this design, I'm gonna pipe a horizontal line from side to side and a vertical line from top to bottom. I have a 1.5 tip on my gold icing bag and I wanna create this ray of light coming out from the center of the cross. So notice how I use the different points of the edge of the cross cookie to guide where I'm piping those rays. I keep the same number of rays on each side of the cross. Now that I have all the lines piped, it's time to add a cluster of flowers in the center to add a beautiful accent. I'm using tip number 129 to create these flowers. It's stiff icing and as I squeeze my icing bag, I give my wrist a turn to create these flowers. the center of the flower using tip number two. Then I let them dry for at least eight hours so they're ready to just pop off the parchment paper and be added onto the cookie. I have a dot of icing on the back of each of these flowers that will just help hold them in place. I started with one flower at the top and added two at the bottom. I thought that placement looked best. And then I added again those little mini leaves using tip number 65S to just add another pop of color and finish off this design. For the third design, I'm going to pipe some text onto the cross. So I have God Bless James already in my iPad and I have a tip number one on my white icing. For another look at piping text, check out the last tutorial with the graduation cookies. I go into a little bit more detail onto how to size and set up your projector with your iPad. But for this one, I just have the text already in place and with my projector and nice soft hand pressure, I'm just gonna add these letters onto the cross. Because this is personalized, I want the final details to be quick to add. So I have a number three tip on my gold icing and I pipe a cross in the background 
Then I size down to a number two tip and add a piped detail to the edge of each of those fancy edges of the cross. These crosses are beautiful and perfect for a baby shower, a dedication, or even a First Holy Communion. For more information about creating these cookies, check out the full blog tutorial on flowerboxbakery.com. Happy decorating!